So, you want to buy a trailer home? Uh, it's a good idea, good investment maybe. Um, some of the problems you might run into are, say, um, your subfloor and your windows. And a common problem in trailers is they like to leak. Um, so, if I can do this. Those are my windows. They were the original windows that came with the place. They're good windows. They're good condition. Uh, however, all of the underneath was pretty much all rotted away. Just like the floor there. Uh, I don't know if I got that very good, but... Uh, So we repaired a contractor uh, that I hired, Jamie. Great guy, him and his son have come around and um, they're redoing the whole entire outside, putting new zip board in um, and taking out the windows and reinstalling them correctly and actually leaving me with a ledge, which would be nice. Um, as well as some of the problems you might find is the underbelly is a, uh, could be like this, just a big hole. So you have to repair the underbelly. Um, one of the other things that I didn't like was that these, uh, the heating duct seemed to be completely, whenever you, you notice them in a lot of trailers, they're in the floor. Um, so they're just where you put your feet all the time, right in the middle of the door, right near the bathroom, right where you might want to stick an end table. Um, so we actually removed um, and moved them down closer to the wall. I wanted to put them in the wall, but unfortunately the walls are a little thin and there's some um, joists in the way, so I couldn't do that. So, <laughs> I'm going to be taking out all of this insulation and then going underneath and redoing the underbelly. I already did a little bit, but it needs some more. Uh, so I'll redo the underbelly and um, put a new insulation, actually double layer it. And one of the things I wanted to show you that I was unprepared for, and so was my contractor, Steve, who has helped me um, and who's been helping me. He's out today. Uh, I don't know, possibly testing for COVID. So hopefully we don't have that. <laughs> Um, I think we should be good. Uh, but the thing that we found, which I was not prepared for, was that these are glued and stapled down the old floor. So this is the old floor, right? It's particle board. It's fucking shit. When it gets wet, it looks like this. Totally soaks it up and just creates soft spots and holes. So we're replacing it with three quarter inch uh, plywood and you know, it's really good. Um, but the thing that we were unprepared for was this. So if you look, this is all glued down and it's been stapled by like a bazillion staples, which I've slowly pulled out. These are some of the staples that are in there. Uh, so, we have to go along and either we were using a uh, we were using a um, was it a belt sander, but uh, actually Home Depot was out of belt sanders uh, yesterday. Since Steve was using his and he's not here, so I decided to get a planer. I'm gonna try a planer it and see if that helps at all. Probably screw up the thing, but hopefully not. Um, and when you do these floors, one of the other things that you have to do is they built the floors underneath into the, uh, underneath the uh, like window frames and stuff. So what you have is the floor actually goes in underneath and um, then they build the wall on top of it. What uh, we're doing is I am boxing them out. Um, so as you can see here, it's a 14 and a half or 14 and a quarter. So each one is just a start. I still have to go back I still have to go back with another two by four and 
build it out so it will eventually look like it'll eventually look like this so go across or like this one that we built for the heating duct here um, see that and because these joists not only are they strangely glued and stapled a bazillion times they also are every couple joists are um, about a quarter inch lower than the other one so what we've had to do is we've had to put in a whole bunch of uh, strapping to uh, make up for that size to keep the floor at a level that should be leveled <laughs> um, hopefully so I just wanted to show you that if you do decide to do some um, subfloor work on your trailer, uh, be prepared for the fact that they may have glued it down and they may have put a bazillion staples in. And so you'll be pulling those out and or um, replacing it. And you shouldn't go over the subfloor because it's wet, rots, it'll get soft, it'll ruin. So you want to rip up the whole subfloor and uh, get underneath there. Um, so uh, all the videos that I've seen um, that have really helped um, I should link some of them because they're really good. Um, they really helped me understand how to do the boxing out and, um, you know, what to kind of prepare for. But none of them mentioned that the subfloors were glued down. Um, so, yeah. So these subfloors will be nice. They'll have uh, uh, screws in them. Uh, so if, if, if ever need be, they need to come out. They can. Um, hopefully never. And uh, that's what I want to show you. Um, also, oh, let me just last tip here. Don't have your cable guys just run cable anywhere. I mean, it, 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 this stuff is important. So your underbelly right here is part of, you know, your insulation and it holds in the heat and keeps the, you know, the rodents out. And what I found there was uh, a cable wire and what it done is ripped the whole piece off. And you, you don't want that to happen. Don't have the cable guy just come in and just Put the cable line anywhere you tell them where to go tell them going to the wall um, and then you come out there but you shouldn't be going in underneath um, i found that with the, also the phone line and um, the cable line so yeah just keep that in mind too because you don't want to have to go underneath their repair and you don't want rodents getting in um, as they will get in as i've been finding tons of rat poop or mouse poop and uh they're you know nuts <laughs> uh so yeah uh, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this will help you in your future endeavor of a subfloor in a trailer. Bye.